The playground at Toffus Park where Derek Larson was murdered Sunday has been completely plowed down. You can see all that is left here is sand and a city worker tells me they plan to plant grass here and eventually possibly put back up playground equipment. Meanwhile, we're learning more about Derek Larson as police continue their investigation. Derek Larson's mother says their family is shocked and stunned that he was brutally killed. He was a good, nice kid. He would never hurt anybody, Debbie Larson tells me her 31 year old son was raised in salmon and recently moved to Idaho Falls where he was living with his brother court records show Larson has had run-ins with the law and just one week ago he was in court to arrange a payment plan for a 2013 DUI conviction the documents show he previously worked at Frosty Gator in Idaho Falls Sunday morning Larson's body was discovered on playground equipment near shelter 3 in Toffus Park the man who found the body tells EastIdahoNews.com Larson had multiple stab wounds in the upper back and neck and was covered in blood. Police removed playground equipment to preserve evidence and say they think Larson was targeted. Detectives say they don't believe there is a threat to the public. Idaho Falls police tell me they still have no suspect information as far as who could have killed Derek Larson. They're asking anybody with any information who may have seen or heard anything unusual Saturday night or Sunday morning here at the park to contact them. Meanwhile, stay with EastIdahoNews.com for the very latest on this developing story. For now, reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Nate Eaton, EastIdahoNews.com.